Is there anything here that's original to you? Yes, I was getting there. Uh, the I've also done the Precinct series, which are fantasy police procedurals. Think Law and Order meets Lord of the Rings. That's nice. Um, they're, uh, they're, they're in a very standard fantasy setting with elves and dwarves and magic and stuff like that. But um, the main characters are detectives who solve crimes. And there's also SCPD, which is about cops in a city filled with superheroes. It's the sort of nightmarish things that cops have to deal with when there's people in their underwear wandering around, destroying property and beating each other up. And, um, uh, and I have a bunch of other things as well. But those are the two main series I've got going. And I still do licensed stuff. I've got a leverage novel coming out next year. And I did a Kung Fu Panda comic book. What about the Young Hercules? That actually goes back to 1999. That's when um, Young Hercules was on the air for one season on Fox Kids back in 98, 99 season. And they did four novels, I did two of them. And I've, let, let's put it this way, the books came out after the show got canceled. I think I've hand sold more copies at conventions than actually sold in bookstores. Um, it's, it's, uh, but I had a lot of fun with them. They were, they were fun to do. And I actually got to give copies to the late Kevin Smith who played Ares, um, before, obviously before he died. Um, he, uh, and I gave him copies of the book, and he actually read them with his kids. And he was thrilled that there was a piece of merchandise that actually had his picture on it. So. He was a really nice guy. He's, uh, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's actually pretty cool. So how long have you been writing? Uh, technically since I was six, uh, but I didn't start getting paid for it until later. I, uh, my first published fiction was a Spider-Man short story that came out in 1994. Uh, and I've been writing, my first novel came out in 98, I've been writing steadily ever since. I guess, uh, so how did you get into the world of, uh, ad of adaptations of uh, existing materials? Kind of backwards through editing. Um, in the 90s, I was an editor for Byron Price, who was a book packager. And I edited his, his science fiction stuff. I did a lot of um, licensed material as an editor. And that also gave me the opportunity to pitch stuff as a writer as well. So. All right, so uh, tell me more about this, uh, these precinct books. Those are, like I said, it's in a fantasy setting. The two main characters are detectives who solve crimes with the help of the magical examiner, who is a wizard who casts a spell on a crime scene to see what happened. Uh, and then they track down the, the people who committed the crimes. Okay, so like pretty much, are these just pretty much going in different places? The precincts are, the, the, the way it works is the city-state is divided into five precincts. Uh, the, there's the castle, which is the seat of the city-state, that's Griffin Precinct. Uh, Unicorn Precinct is the upper class district where all the rich people live. Dragon Precinct is the middle class dis district. Goblin Precinct is the slums oh, for all the poor people. And then Mermaid Precinct are the docks because it's a port town. Okay. Um, and so that each each book centers on one of the individual precincts uh, where most of the action in the book takes place. So that gives me at least five books to work with. All right. And I've already got plans for uh, Griffin Precinct will be out next year uh, with Mermaid Precinct probably in 2014. And I've also got a short story collection called Tales from Dragon Precinct which will have short stories from throughout that universe. Okay. With Super City Police Department, yes. um, I know there's several, there several other types of fiction that are similar. Yeah. Like, would, po would people who enjoy, say, reading powers, would they enjoy Probably, it yeah. Um, it, it, it focuses more, I, I think of it as like The Wire meets The Avengers with a little bit of powers mixed in. So it's harder, it's, it's harder on like the actual life yeah. of the cops yes. doing this and their interplay with exactly. crooks? Yeah, it's much, more, it's much more focused on the day-to-day the -day life of cops that would be true in any city with the added bonus of guys in spandex beating so, each other up so but like, it's but it's very much a ground level and it's and it's not so much about the mystery as it is about the day-to-day -day life of the cops it's much more inspired by hill street blues and the wire and homicide than it is like law and order or csi yeah. okay. is it like um is it like this you have like certain cops who want to go to like say uh Narcotics, because hey, I can get I can get a lot of press on narcotics. We're like, hey, look, all this dope on this table. Whereas, look, we nabbed this guy in this costume who was trying to freeze his bank. Yeah. It's like and like you get to show up for for, for those and those guys get there's a really a big head. Yes, there's a lot of politics, in it. and it's it's much you know, as is true in most actual police departments, things are motivated a lot more by expediency, money, and press. politics. Oh, and yeah, and, and press coverage than they are actually, you know, solving crimes and helping people. So, it's it's a fairly cynical point of view. Sounds, sounds like it's up my alley. Okay, about the Spassky books. 
Yes. Those were, we did those, Boom Studios published those between 2008 and 2011. We did 36 issues uh, that took place after Far Escape's uh, end in the Peacekeeper Wars. So this is basically season five of the show. Okay. Uh, Rock Neil Bannon, the series creator, plot and the stories. I scripted them based on his plots. And uh, we had a good run. Like I said, 36 issues plus we did a couple of side stories uh, with Dargo and with Scorpius. I didn't do the Scorpius comic. That was Those were done by uh, David Allen Mack. So what about, well, is this like pretty much a comic novelization? That, actually, the only reason I have that here is because I have an essay in there. Okay. Um, that, Boom, Boom Studios, same publisher did Far Escape, did, it's a, it's a comic book adaptation, but it's not, it's not an adaptation exactly, it's a comic book version of the novel. There's no words left out. Okay. It's the entire text of the novel done as a comic book. It was done as 24 issues, and um, each issue had an essay in the back by some interesting person in the science fiction field, and when they ran out of interesting people, they talked to me. <laughs> um, and I did I did a piece that compared uh, the book with the movie. Is this, uh, is this, is this on top of the book that continuation of the series? Actually, it's a prequel to the series. It's uh, what? Is it no, no, it's a prequel focusing on Becca and Tyr. Okay. It's what the it's what the two of them were doing separately uh, for the nine months or so leading up to the pilot episode. Okay. So Dylan Hunt, despite the fact that Dylan Hunt's front and center on the cover, he actually is only in the framing sequence. <laughs> Okay. And what of this, uh, what, what, what of this, uh, st this That is nine? one of many pieces of Star Trek fiction I've written over the years. Uh, that one in particular took uh, each of the seven deadly sins and applied them to a particular Star Trek species. Okay. So the Ferengi are greed, Obviously. the Romulans are pride, the Cardassians are envy, um, the, uh, the Borg is gluttony, the mirror universe is lust. Okay. Um, I did the Klingon story, which is anger. Okay. And then the Pakleds are sloth. And what of man? That, that, that he represents the very universe. Okay. That's that's lust. Okay. Um, and uh, the the pack led story has my favorite title in the book. It's called Work Is Hard. Greg Cox wrote that. All right. Thank you very much. This is Gabriel Lemayne.